T. Hoffman, and it's time for another Two Minute Tuesday. I want to talk to you today about practice group leadership. Now, I'm doing the training this week on this particular topic, so it's kind of near and dear to my heart. And let's face it, practice group leaders have a hard way to go. Some will say it's kind of like herding cats, and having been a cat uh, as part of a practice group, I can tell you that many of us are really hard to corral. Having said that, it is a great role in a law firm to be a practice group leader, but you have to have three things. You've got to be strategic, you've got to be operationally sound, and you have to have tactics in place that will enable you to make your strategy a reality. So where do you start? Well, I always tell practice group leaders to start out with a clear mission statement. Here's where we are right now. Here's where I want us to be. And in the middle of all of that is the plan or the strategy on how we're going to accomplish that. Now this may be pretty broad, but you can break that down into smaller tasks, which is of course your tactical part of your practice group leadership operations. Now, when I say you've gotta be strategic, I mean, you can't just do it like everybody else has done it in the past because you want to make sure that what you're doing is very relevant and also resonates with the members of your practice group. Operationally, you've got to make sure that your practice group is doing all of the things that your law firm requires. For example, are your practice group members getting their time turned in every day? Are they getting their bills out on time? Are they taking care of their accounts receivable? Those are operational issues. And then the tactics are the things that you do when you break down all of the things that are required for you to actually meet your mission as a practice group leader. And I will say from my standpoint, one of the things practice group leaders do not do well is delegate those tasks. So as you think about your tactics, so I need to make sure that we pull all of the financial reports by X date and that they're reviewed. Have somebody help you do that, either an assistant or someone else in your practice group that you trust. If someone's not getting their time in, make sure that you schedule a time to sit down with them. That's important. Uh, Delegate tasks that are strategic in nature, writing blog posts, making sure speaking engagements are covered, making sure all of the things that you need to make happen to accomplish your mission are actually taking place. Now, delegate, delegate, delegate. You do not have to do it all yourself. In order to be effective, you need to spread out those tasks. It will also empower other people in your practice group uh, and they will want to be a practice group leader. They will move up. So that is a very important element of practice group leadership as well is letting other people help you. All right, so I hope you will take advantage of the practice group training that we are offering here at Law Strategy Coach. A course will be coming up very soon for practice group leaders. Also take a look at our other courses. We have courses on law practice management as well as time management, business development skills, all of those kinds of things that make the practice of law not only more fun, but also more profitable for your law firm. Please share this video, like the video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We would love to have you as one of our many subscribers. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your week.